In today's video, we're going to be putting together this Kyrie Irving graphic. We go into some cool aspects about how I approach glows and lighting. This isn't going to be a jersey swap video, but if you want to know how I get those done, leave a comment and maybe I can make it in the future. Also, I haven't posted in a long, long, long time. And it's just because of client work, man. I've been busy, but I'll go into this in more depth after the breakdown. So if you care about that, Stick around to the end of the video. But anyway, let's hop into Photoshop and get started. Okay, a blank slate. Now, I have this photo of Kyrie with him already in the Lakers jersey. And I also have all these arms, his arms, obviously, that I want to arrange in a cool way behind. So it looks like he has like six extra limbs. So we put this one around here and I've got to add some camera raw so that it matches the main photo. I'll turn down the exposure, up the dehaze and the clarity. Now, the shading is getting there, but I need a color balance to help with the overall coloring, like this. And now it's looking like it matches much better. Let's get the second arm, put this around here. And I've basically got to go through each of these and do the exact same thing. <sighs> I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to sit there and watch me do this whole boring process. All right, so now we have our spider looking Kyrie. The arms are looking good. They're not perfect, but I'm gonna add a bunch of light in and glows and stuff. So if there are any imperfections, you ain't gonna see them, but we need to add some rim lighting around all of these arms to match the lighting of the main photo. So I've added in an exposure adjustment. I'll mess with these settings and the blend if so it doesn't affect the more shadowy areas like that. And then I just need to go around and paint that in around the edges here. Once again, I have to do this for everything. So let me just go get that done one sec. All right, so this is taking shape. It started to look how I wanted it to. Now let's add in a dark background. I wanna add an even darker gradient as well around the edge, so I'll just paint that in. I prefer to do it this way with the background instead of doing like a gradient overlay effect, but yo, that's just me. You do you, bruv. I got this gold diamondy square thing. There's some dust. There's dust because I ain't used this camera in so long. <laughs> I got this gold diamondy square thing that I made in After Effects. There'll be a little pop out about how I do my 3D stuff in After Effects. So go check that out after you watch this video if you haven't already. But yeah, then I got this golden pyramid eye render that I actually got off of Invato Elements, who are doing a free trial right now, by the way. This is completely unrelated because they're not sponsoring this video. But still, click the link in the description if you want to check out Invato Elements. And yeah, this is definitely going to have an Egyptian kind of theme. No real reason. I just think it looks cool and it fits with Kyrie's kind of vibe. Also, I'm adding in this spiky ring thing, which is actually just a semicircle that I flipped and combined. Genius. But it looks pretty damn cool. So I'm just going to add this in somewhere back here behind the pyramid to really draw your eye to this area. All right, I'm going to draw a solid shape behind the gold diamond like that. And this is going to be our main point of light in the graphic for all of the glows. I'll set that to a purpley pink kind of color. Then I'll duplicate it, make this a little darker and paint in that gradient with a mask. Going to do the same thing again, but with a slightly lighter color this time. And this will just make sure this lower area is really bright and help sell that dramatic glowy look that we're going for. Going to quickly mask out this hand to give the graphic some depth. A small area like this is the only time you're going to catch me using a pencil because that breath but let me know how you cut out your stuff is it pencil is it quick select is it something else let me know right this is starting to come together i think i'm going to add in a circle shape up here behind the pyramid make that a lakers yellow and this time i'm actually going to use a gradient overlay because it's only little in it it's not that deep then with a pencil i'm going to draw an outline wait move your head big man all right, I'm going to draw an outline, get rid of the fill color, add in the outline and make the ends rounded like this. Do the same thing with the other side. Hey, yo, connect. OK, there you go. And then around the pupils of the eyes. But this is going to be a solid color. Same with this one. And we're going to add two lots of glows. One's going to be a white linear light with a small light radius. I'm going to all drag the group to duplicate and change this glow to a purpley kind of color with a much bigger radius. And this just gives you a nice, almost neon sign looking kind of glow. Next, we need to add some light reflecting off of Kyrie and all of his arms. I'm going to use a hue and saturation set to colorize, change the blend if to not include any of the darker shadows. And then we've got to go around again, again 
and paint it in to give it a nice soft colorful rim light effect. Want to make sure to include it on any areas that will get hit by the light source. In this case I'm going to have a strong light coming from below so I'll add in some color to his palm like that. Then just basically do this to everything. Okay that's done now didn't take too long for you anyway but I'm going to add in this extra gold square back here because why not? And I have this cool alien looking landscape that I'm just going to add into the background somewhere down here. Now, using the black and white adjustment layer, I'm going to deepen the reds and yellows to get this to look like black sand. Now, this is about the time where I need to start seeing how the graphic will look once everything is color graded. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of my custom LUTs, which you can get at my website, ethanjdesign.com. They're not that expensive, only like 14 pounds, whatever that is in your currency, go figure that shit out. But I really do use them in like, all of my work so if you want to support me and you like the way my color grading looks check them out download them and add them to your design repertoire so here we are with the final color grade in the description i include exactly what ones i use if you want to try them out yourself but next i want to add another kind of light source back here beneath this mountain area so i'll make this fill layer kind of a pinky color and i'll start to paint that in in the background down at the bottom i want to add in this triangle kind of shape in the background as well I just think the contrast between the whites and the blacks was just going to look really cool. But what I'm going to do is select it and invert the shape so that the white parts are going to be on the outside in the corners. You know, I'm realizing that Kyrie himself is looking a bit too bright for how dark the background is. So using an exposure layer, I'll turn that down and adjust the blend if to not affect the lightest areas. And I think that suits the graphic much nicer. Now, it's been about time we need to start adding some glows to this. So using that same pink color fill from the background, I'll get rid of the mask and using a soft brush, I'll start to paint that in where all the light bloom would be from these light sources. So I'll focus on the lower part of this purple diamond shape. Now I'm using a brush at 53% flow so I can build up the intensity of the color with how hard I press with my Wacom tablet. If you haven't used a tablet, I would definitely suggest trying one out because this is OP. I also want to add in some smoke to this background glow to really make it seem like it's like some kind of portal. Just need to change the hue like this and then we'll place this somewhere back here. Now, the final background element that I want to add is this cool Egyptian statue head, which I also found on Invato. I'll place one on this side and then one on the other. I need to add in those same pinky light reflections, so I'll duplicate that hue and saturation layer. Might change the hue slightly to be a bit deeper. I'll add an exposure layer as well to really make these highlights stand out. Then I'll just go around and emphasize this underlit underlit is that thing it's lit from under the light is coming you get it. then i'll just all drag that mask onto the hue and saturation layer and boom easy light highlight reflections and stuff i might just go around and add a little bit more of a softer light bleed into these highlights as well just like that right i'm going to change the basketballs to these black and gold ones so i'll position all of these like this again with the same highlights and coloring and we should be left looking with something close to the final product i tried adding in some basketballs and hoops to the background as well and i'm gonna be honest this looks like some cheeks so i'm gonna go ahead and take them out and this is pretty much done now i wanted to make a few duplicates of these egyptian statues make it a bit smaller and rotate it like that Maybe move it down a little bit as well. Made one more duplicate as well. Going to neaten everything up at the bottom. Duplicate and flip it to the other side as well. And I think we're good. Okay, no. One more element. These 3D triangle things. Going to have one down here like that. And another one over here. Maybe below everything like this. I did a quick field blur to this lower one. And we're done. Maybe, I don't know. Now it's just the final touches, the garnish, the icing on top, if you will. I'm using my lens flare and lens effects from my packs. I'm just gonna place these all around the graphic, neaten everything up. I think this one can go up here like that. And ah, I was gonna add strings. The, I was gonna add like these string things, the Kyrie's hands. So I'll just add that in with a pencil, then just add in some final glows quickly. And now, now we're done. So let's turn back on all of these layers here. And here's a closer look at how it all turned out. Will carry end up at the Lakers? I don't know. You tell me. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I wanted to give a quick update about why I haven't been posting for so long. And long story short, it's just literally NBA work, non-stop NBA work all this year. I've been super involved in a bunch of main social media stuff this year from the All-Star 
to the playoffs, to the finals, just everything. It's been non-stop. It's been hundreds of templates, hundreds of graphics, and YouTube ain't paying bills like that. So client work is how I keep the lights on. But I'm really gonna try harder at the back half of this year to get more content made. If you wanna see more of my work more regularly, don't forget to check out my Instagram. And as always, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And oh yeah, one more thing. Collabo Shop is back. So check the information in the description and maybe me and you will collab in the next episode. Imagine if I wasn't recording. <laughs> Yo, that would suck, bro.